Hey guys, Troy here. Welcome to the Striker Blade YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a follow-up of my previous video where I replaced the thermal pad in this computer with a custom copper spacer. I was using Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste and I'm going to replace that today with liquid metal and hopefully that will increase the efficiency in which the heat sink can soak up heat from the CPU. And we'll see if using basically the most efficient thermal paste on the market is going to make a difference for us. After seeing how the thermal paste has spread over the CPU, I am going to be covering all of the little resistors with a thin layer of Gorilla Glue. This is just a safety precaution in case anything leaks or any of the liquid metal comes in contact with that. There will be a barrier so it doesn't short the system. I'm also going to be removing this thin metal piece that sits right underneath the vents for the fan. I don't think this is going to make a big difference removing this, but we'll see if that perhaps gives me a slightly bit better airflow. If you attempt to do this modification on your own and you find yourself between using super glue and using nail polish, definitely choose the nail polish because this super glue looks terrible. But it should work, so we're still fine. All right, all good news so far. It turned on. <laughs> let's go ahead and run Ida64 and let's hit it with stress test. My room is a little cooler today than what it was a few weeks ago when I did my first modification. I don't think that's going to have a big impact on our results. Maybe one or two degrees cooler in my room. It's not very much difference. As you can see, the temperatures slowly rise similar to the thermal paste so a big improvement over the thermal pad that comes with this computer I expect it to reach the 55 degrees Celsius number and then have the fans turn on and cool off and then turn off and then it you know bounce back and forth as many of Lark box owners have complained about so I don't think this modification is going to solve that issue but we might see better idle temps. So let's go ahead and stop the test here. And we're just gonna see how cool the system gets just sitting here. One thing that I definitely didn't get with the thermal paste or with the thermal pad is actually a drop in temperature after the test. Let's let this sit for a little bit and see where it balances out to. It's been sitting here idling and it's dropped down to about the 50 degree mark so I'm going to say that's going to be the idle temperature with the liquid metal. This is of course lower than what it was with the Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste. So what have we learned in this video? Well we've learned that if you have the opportunity to use nail polish instead of super glue definitely use the nail polish to cover up any exposed contacts because super glue looks terrible. Additionally, we've learned that the issue with the fans turning off and on and off and on and off and on isn't something that really can be fixed through changing the thermal interface with the CPU and heatsink. That is something that would need to be fixed through the BIOS because the system can heat up enough to reach the temperature regardless of if it's a liquid metal or a thermal paste or a pad, the fans are going to turn off and on and off and on as you're using it. I hope you guys found this video educational. I found it fun to do. Um, I love the Larkbox Pro. I think it's great for anyone who loves to like tinker with their computers and toys and whatnot. So I'm happy that I was able to open it up a few times and put liquid metal on the CPU. I've never used this stuff before 
and I'm actually pretty impressed by it, so I might use it on my other computer. All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next video.